Japanese people on the internet are furious. And what happened has boiled into English communities and news as well. So what happened? Well, it was 5 a.m. in Roppongi, a neighborhood in Tokyo where you can find all sorts of delightful things, like overpriced bars and sketchy clubs filled with sleazy expats. And Japanese people who want to hang around with these class act tourists. Not to forget the Nigerians working as henchmen for the Yakuza and the old Filipino ladies offering their, um, services. A classy area for classy people. A place where an enlightened gentleman like myself doesn't go much because I have to take care of my waifu back at home. But let's get back to the story. So a lady bought herself a meal from the convenience store to help with the upcoming hangover and was walking home when a drunk French gentleman bumped into her, causing her to drop the food. Which led to this. I think we can all unanimously agree that f this guy. The police were able to identify him being French from the way he runs like he shit his pants. Also, thanks to him being French, his punch was weak enough that the lady will be completely fine according to the news. Once this video was posted on the Japanese Twitter, it spread like wildfire. Just like most of these videos with foreigners acting like dickheads in Japan. Most Japanese commenters agreed that the assault was due to racism, with a considerable percentage of Westerners being discriminatory against Asians and Europe having a long history with the concept of discrimination against Asians. Some people added that the man seemingly looked Middle Eastern and had a Muslim Arab face, with other people summarizing the situation as foreigners just being cruel people by nature. Even though I'd like people to go and stop things like this from happening, rather than just filming them to world star hip hop. I am glad that this was posted online so the angry mob was able to force the police to hunt the man down. Once the police caught him, his defense was simply, I don't remember. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but I doubt this defense will hold in the Japanese court, where 99.9% .9 of cases end up in conviction. Even though I'm not a big fan of such a high conviction rate by itself, in this case I'm quite happy to know that this guy will probably end up serving some time. Now, was his motivation actually racist? I don't know. You don't know. Maybe. I don't personally think it changes the bottom line that he assaulted someone and should atone for his crimes. I think some people are just drunk assholes. Some people are racist holes, others drunk racist holes. But at the end of the day, they are all men.